Hey everybody, Michael here. Today I wanted to take a look at this Gold Hen Auto Loader, which uses BDJB in order to jailbreak a PlayStation 4 on 9.00 all the way up to the latest, which is 12.52. Now in order to get started with this project, go ahead and go over here to the releases. And we are going to examine the 1.5 pre-release version. So scroll down here to assets and then download this ISO image. Once it is downloaded, you will need to use a tool such as image burn, select the ISO image, and then burn that to a Blu-ray disc. Now again, you will need to have a Blu-ray burner in order to take advantage of this ISO. Now I'm sure there will be versions of this that comes out on AliExpress. So let's go ahead and switch over to our PS4 and get started with this. Okay, so I am over here on my PlayStation 4 here and I went ahead and popped in the disc there. Now before we jump into that, I am gonna go over here to settings and we are gonna to go to system and then take a look here because we are sitting at 12.52. Now 12.52 is the absolute max that this currently works with, but we did see the developer over on X stating that 13.00 would be included as soon as it comes out. So let's go ahead and go back from here and let's take a look at the icon here. So it does say Henloader LP Deluxe. Looks like the version number was dropped off of this. So let's go ahead and let this spin on up. Okay, and there we go. And so the auto loader is currently off and it looks like if you want to come down here and set this, you can turn the auto loader on or off. So obviously with the auto loader, it will automatically run one of these gel breaks up here. Now I am on a 12.52 machine, which means that LAPS is not compatible. Let's say we were on a 9.00 to 12.02 machine, we could use LAPS. So now let's go ahead and try starting the exploit. So I'm gonna go ahead and press X on this screen. Okay, and there we go. We have Gold Hen running. Now this one isn't currently connected to the internet or anything, so it is trying to update the time, but right there it is. We've got Gold Hen running and wow, that was really super fast. And yeah, if we come back over here, go into our settings and then scroll back on down into our system and then system information, we can see we've got Gold Hen version 2.4 B18.7 and this is running Hen 12.52. Okay, so now that we are jailbroken, Let's just go ahead and run this disk again because there were some other options we haven't explored yet. So there is a option here that says copy the Gold Hen 2.4 B18.7 to the PlayStation 4. Now the reason it has that option is because right now it has been loading it from the disk, but there is a place on the hard disk drive that you can copy that file to and maybe order to get a little bit faster loading. So let's go ahead and press X on that. And it says checking payload, payload.bin missing. And now it says copying. And now the copy has finished successfully. Now the next option in here is called start kernel dumper. This basically dumps the current kernel to a USB drive. At least that's the way that I remember it. So I went ahead and plugged in a USB drive and let's go ahead and press X on that and see what happens. Okay, so it crashed regardless if I tried the USB drive or if I didn't try the USB drive, even if I was already jailbroken or non-jailbroken. So far, I haven't got that feature to work, but I've done all of the testing on 12.52, so maybe it's something in 12.02 that might work better with it. Anyways, we'll just go ahead and we'll move along to the next option and that is disable updates. Now, if we go ahead and press X on this one, we can see that it says loading bin file and that is the PS4 disable updates.bin. Then it says bin loaded and then mapping and executing. 
Okay, so that one also did not appear to work. So we'll try this on a lower firmware in just a second. And also it did state that this is a pre-release. So going ahead and going back into the menu, there is a homebrew payload launcher here. So if we press X on that, you will see we have all of the different PS4 payloads. So what we could do is we could come in here and we could try running the PS4 history blocker dot bin. So I'm going to press X on that and it says bin loaded, mapping and executed. And yeah, these are not working on a 12.52 machine. Now there is another option in here and this one is USB payload browser. So I went to the scene collective and I copied a couple of payloads to my USB drive. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot with X. And now this one states there's no payloads, but yes, there actually is some payloads on the USB. Okay, so I think let's go ahead and take this to a 12.02 machine. Okay, so I just went ahead and powered up another PlayStation 4, and this time we're gonna be going to system, system information, and we are on 12.02 now. So let's see how well compatibility goes with this one. So let's go ahead and load the disk up. Okay, and so now it has detected the firmware being 12.02. And now by default on this one, it's going to auto select the lapse exploit. So let's just go ahead and get jailbroke in here. And it just said success there. And there we go. We have gold hen running on this machine. Wow, these jailbreaks are getting to be where they're so extremely fast. I literally did not know if it worked or not, but there we are. We're on 12.02 and we have a jailbreak. Okay, so let's go back into the disk and let's start with an easy one, which is the disabled update. So let's press X on that one. Okay, and there we go. So there is what it looks like when it is working. It says that it is loading a bin and the bin has been loaded, mapping and executing. And then the final thing that we were missing was it does state that the disabled updates bin has finished. Okay, so now let's go up and let's try our kernel dumper again. Now I still have a USB drive connected, so let's press X on that one. And there we go. It did state that it did finish. Now it'll be curious to see, does this just kick me out or do I get a system error? Looks like I do get a system error, but let's go ahead and go back and let's go into PS4 Explorer here, and we're gonna go root access on 12.02. Let's scroll down here to mount USB zero. And so there is a PS4 folder, and there we go, we got 12.02, and right there it is. We've got the kernel.bin. So that is the 12.02 kernel, which has been extracted. Let's go ahead and go back to the disk. And so now we could come down in here into the homebrew payload launcher. And if we wanted to come back and run that PS4 history blocker, dot brin, we could do so and it has already completed. Okay, so if we click on the USB payload browser, it does say scanning for USB devices, but no payloads found on the USB. So I'm not exactly sure if the files are supposed to be in a certain directory. Right now I have them in a payload folder. I've also tried moving them just to the root of the folder. Now, before I wrap up here, I do wanna go ahead and show you there is one more feature that does come with this disk. And that is, is that if we come up here to Gold Hen and we go to our package installer, you'll see that the disk automatically has a couple of different packages on it. So right here we have Apollo Save Tool, things like Payload Guest is on here. We also have the Cheat Manager, we have Items Flow, as well as the working version of PS4 Explorer, which works with 12.52. And even PS5 Explorer is on here. The store is on here. The YouTube application is also on this disc, which is really nice, as well as the Netflix application. So yeah, there's quite a bit to talk about with this release. So anyways, thanks to the developer for making this awesome and thanks for you for watching the channel. I'll catch you again on the next one. Michael, out.